Breaking news tonight, police desperately searching for a beautiful little three-year-old Florida girl, Kelly, after her grandparents report her missing. Little Kelly now not seen for eight long weeks, lasting with her mother. So why didn't mommy call police? Headlines tonight, as we go to air, late breaking report. Are police set to file more criminal charges against mom, Casey? For a second day in a row, police bring out the canine units to search a heavily wooded area near little Kelly's home. Police now honing in on specific days just after Kelly last seen Father's Day weekend, attempting to ping or trace mom Casey's calls retroactively. This while yet another family jailhouse visit is canceled. In fact, all family visits canceled since formal charges handed down against mom Casey. The Anthony family reveals today they are convinced little Kelly is alive and has been kidnapped, even claiming they know who has Kelly and they are, quote, being watched. But by who? Psychics now in on the search for Kelly. DNA evidence, hair and fluid taken from mom Casey's car trunk, still under lock and key. But just hours ago, police chipped their hand, revealing they have more than DNA. Tonight, where is three-year-old little Kelly? A new development in the case of missing Florida toddler Kaylee Anthony. Casey Anthony's brother, Lee Anthony, has canceled a jailhouse visit scheduled for today, but did not give a reason why. The jail says that Lee Anthony has suggested that he might reschedule the appointment for later in the week. In another shocking twist, Kaylee's grandfather, George Anthony, says that the people who have kidnapped Kaylee are being watched, and they know it. These people know that they're being watched. They know it. I who are these people? I, I really can't get into that with you. Is there people out there who could help you find these people? Yeah, you would think the people who have my granddaughter right now would be smart enough to say, oh, listen, I got to turn this little girl back into a family. I don't want any more of this going on. Police continue to search for Kaylee, with reports saying investigators for the second straight day searched a wooded area near the Anthony home. A lot of people keep talking about the hair and the stain. And so there's a, I think that a lot of people in the public and think that that's all we have. My understanding, again, I don't know how many pieces of this were sent out, but there's a lot of things that they're looking at. And I guess they're waiting until they get results on everything before we get it, and that way we can put this puzzle together, so to speak. Every day, I think we're getting closer and closer to finding her. So, um, I still believe she's alive. Oh, absolutely. I feel her. I know, she, I know she's alive. I know my daughter. Um, I just, you know, that gut feeling that made me call for help is the same gut feeling that I know she's out there. A local Orlando TV station is reporting that Casey Anthony may be facing additional charges. A source tells the station that authorities would be open to anything that would put more pressure on Anthony. The station also reports that boyfriend Tony Lazaro told investigators that he never heard Anthony talk about searching for Kaylee and said Anthony was not in a panic. Can Tony... Tell me anything. Danny, Tony doesn't know anything. And I haven't even talked to him since this morning. Has Tony seen Kaylee? Tony hasn't seen Kaylee since the beginning of June. Good evening. I'm Nancy Grace. I want to thank you for being with us tonight. Police desperately searching for a beautiful three-year-old Florida girl, Kaylee. Local media is reporting that for the second day in a row, investigators searched an area near the Anthony home after receiving a tip of a distinct smell in the area. We're trying to put together where Casey may have been at any given time. She was gone for 31 days. Her own mother doesn't know exactly where she was those 31 days. So we have to try to put pieces together to try to figure out at any given day where could she have been. I believe that testing is going to come back, that it's not going to be anything. There, there's, there's different smells that all of us can associate with different things with. In another breaking development, just one day after Casey Anthony refuses a visit from her parents, Anthony's brother cancels a scheduled visit with Casey Anthony. We were completely behind you. How are you? Um, and being completely behind you, um, our entire focus, uh, all our days, every second of every day is consumed. Oh. What, what can we do to find Kaylee? Yeah, absolutely. George Anthony told an Orlando station that the kidnappers who he claims took Kaylee are being watched, and they know it. 
and these people that are out there that we feel might have been involved in something, and again, that's just speculation on my part. Yeah, they're being watched. They might not know. They're being watched. I wish this person, person that had her, would call up and say, CNN, I have this little girl. I believe she's a little girl who's missing from Orlando, Florida. The person, the persons that have my granddaughter right now, I'm hoping that something will click in their brain or in their heart. It's going to say, my God, I can't believe that we've held her, we've kept this girl away from her family. A just released report says that Todd mom, Casey Anthony, may be facing additional charges. A source told an Orlando station that they may charge Anthony in the hopes of putting pressure on her to get her to talk. In addition, boyfriend Tony Lazaro reportedly told investigators that Anthony never seemed in a panic over her daughter's disappearance. How come everybody's saying that you're not upset, that you're not crying, that you show no caring of where Taylor is at all? I'm not sitting here crying every two seconds because I have to stay composed to talk to detectives, to make other phone calls, to do other things. I can't sit here and be crying every two seconds like I want to. I can't. Lazaro also reportedly told cops that Casey Anthony never talked about searching for Kaylee. Does Tony have anything to do with Kaylee? No, Tony has nothing to do with Kaylee. Oh, uh, so I, wh why do you want to talk to him? Because he's my boyfriend, and I want to actually try to sit and talk to him because I didn't get a chance to talk to him earlier because I got arrested on a whim today. We have nothing to indicate that she's not alive, uh, obviously. You know, statistically and historically, uh, one of the facets of life is that these things sometimes, uh, more times than not, unfortunately, don't turn out well. But right now, we have nothing that we can say this child is not alive. Straight out to Mark Williams with WNDB News Talk, joining us from Orlando, Florida. Mark, police just reveal that they've got a lot more than the DNA. What do they have? Well, first off, they have like 1,300 leads they're sifting through. They're keeping a lot of things close to the vest right now. Uh, investigators have been working this case 24-7 for the past month or so, hoping to come up with something. Again, uh, they, they just keep working. They keep working, working, working. Even deputies out in the street looking for clues right now. But, Nancy, I guess the biggest thing right now is the fact that more charges may be filed against Casey Anthony one of these uh, days probably in the next two to three days the reason being is that she allegedly stole seven hundred dollars from a friend and then they may get her uh... charge her with using uh, unauthorized use of her parents credit card when she wasn't there those are the two charges also the other thing tony lazaro again her boyfriend talking to investigators and what investigators now are trying to do is really pinpoint where she was between Monday, June 15th and Wednesday, June 18th. Uh, Tony Lazaro said that Casey lived there with him on and off at his apartment for those three days. During those three days, uh, he said that Casey never said anything about uh, Casey uh, Kaylee missing or she was in a panic, nor did he ever see Kaylee whatsoever. And, of course, investigators looking at her very important cell phone records are trying to, to ping those towers to see where that phone hit to track her exact movements during those three days, Nancy. Mark Williams joining us with WNDB News Talk. We're taking your calls live. Mark Williams, you state police have honed in on the dates June 15 to June 18. Mm -hmm. Now, I know that Kelly was seen on June 15. It was Father's Day, and apparently she went to go see her great grandfather in an assisted living home or wherever he may be so we know where she was on the 15th the family apparently the grandparents apparently saw her the morning of the 16th so we've got the 16th to the 18th we're talking about why why mark williams have police honed in on those 48 hours out of 31 days well there was a flurry of phone calls from casey anthony to her parents george and cindy anthony on the 16th later in the day on the 16th they don't know why because she couldn't reach her parents and that's obviously the day that investigators believe that little Kaylee disappeared and has not been seen since and uh, I want to go out to Pat Brown criminal profiler and author of killing for sport Pat there's been a, a lot of reports that there are suspicions little Kaylee died in an above ground pool there in the backyard but if that were true, if she died of an accident in the pool, why not call 911? Why not call paramedics to try and revive her? Well, that would be an assumption, Nancy, that she died in an accident. And from the behaviors we're seeing from Casey, which are 
scarily psychopathic, it may be that she wanted this child out of her life. So it might not have been an accident. And if that were true, maybe she had to figure out something else to do with her.